We have continuing coverage of a murder investigation on the Corpus Christi's west side. What started here in the coastal bend ended over 100 miles away near Pleasanton. Here's a quick timeline of how this drama played out. Overnight, the family of a woman who lives at a home on Hiawatha called police. They told officers they hadn't heard from the woman since Tuesday. Chris 6 News, Michaela Chavez picks up the story from there. She's live at the home on the 300 block of Hiawatha. Michaela, what happened next? Clara, for the family of that missing woman who they identified as Felicia Ann Franco, their worst fears were realized when they arrived here. Franco's cousin found her body inside that house. As the case began to unfold, police developed information that pointed to Franco's boyfriend of four years, Edward Garcia. Garcia was a former law enforcement officer. As investigators were putting together a warrant for his arrest, Garcia was spotted traveling on Interstate 37 near Pleasanton. That's just south of San Antonio. He was traveling at nearly 90 miles per hour. DPS troopers put out road spikes and managed to flatten two tires on his vehicle. Garcia swerved into the median and jumped out of the vehicle. Here's what happened next. The officers could see that he was looked like he was reaching for a gun, a rifle and putting on a, a ballistic vest. So he jumped out and he started shooting at the officers and running across the interstate. Uh, three officers, uh, two from my agency and, and one from the uh, DA's office, returned fire. Uh, the suspect was struck. Uh, he's uh, dead at the scene. Now there are two investigations underway. The first is to determine what led to the murder of Felicia Ann Franco inside the Hiawatha home. The other is an investigation into the officer involved shooting that left Garcia dead. That investigation will be handled by the Texas Rangers. Franco's mother told me that the last time she spoke with her daughter Felicia was on Tuesday. Felicia told her mother that she planned on breaking up with Edward Garcia. Franco's mother also says neighbors told her that around 3 a.m. Wednesday, they heard Felicia screaming and calling for her mom. And then they heard gunshots. Glada? Michaela, thank you. Now, you mentioned that Edward Garcia worked in law enforcement. What other information have you learned about that? Glada, Nueces County Precinct 4 Constable Chris Stimson says that Garcia worked with his department from 2011 until he was terminated in December of last year. And one more note about Garcia. Franco's mother says she spoke with him on Wednesday about her missing daughter. Garcia reportedly told her he would help look for Felicia. Her mother also says Garcia became angry and upset when she told him she was going to report her daughter missing. The mother says Garcia said something along the lines of, why would you do that? And it's going to make me look bad. Glada. Michaela, very important story. Thank you. And Felicia Ann Franco's mother telling Chris Six News her daughter loved her dog so much she knew something was wrong when she noticed she left them behind.